So this is Nasir Idrisi on the drill floor, right? Brick floor. Brick floor um, with uh, Jerry Torino and uh, Helen Evans, uh, who are going to talk about the logging process. So we're done drilling. After the drilling process, uh, we put down the uh, uh, logging tools to get measurements of the hole that was just drilled. So, hi Jerry. Hi. Helen. Hi. So, can you give us a breakdown of what happens here? Well, right now we're taking a tool string apart. We put a series of tools on top of each other to measure the chemical and physical properties of the rocks that we just drilled through. They get continuous profiles of what uh, of, of the rocks on there. Get uh, some of the properties that uh, of all the formation. And so now we're taking this one apart. Uh, this one particularly uh, measure natural gamma ray, uh, sonic velocity. So how long it takes for for a sound wave to travel to the uh, different types of rock. And we had uh, at the very bottom a micro resistivity imaging tool. Uh, the focus of the program right now is to try to image the borehole and try to see the structures and try to orient the structures with respect to the in situ stresses. So you see that at the bottom we'll take this most of the tool string together and we'll put another one uh, and we'll send it down and that will be the last one. And uh, it's also to image uh, the so, borehole. So Jerry, um, why is this important to, uh, to log, to get this information? Uh, with respect to the cords that were pulled out? Well, a lot of times what we, we drill and we try to pour, but we don't recover 100% of uh, what we drill through or we pour. It. And uh, so this is a continuous profile of the different properties that allow us to reconstruct the entire sequence that we drill through and, uh, and fill in the gaps that are left by not, not recovering right. some of the core. So do, do you get any uh, horizontal information from outside of where the hole is? Uh, yes, we did. We get we 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 can reconstruct the entire uh, stratigraphy, looking at horizontal or so looking at vertical structures. Uh, so this particular tool allows us to reorient this uh, the structures with respect to magnetic north. It's something that we cannot do with a core, right. so we're trying to realign some of the core pieces. Excellent. And then, then we can put that in a, in a in a frame that we could actually understand a little bit more about what's happened in this area, and reconstruct the evolution of this plateau. Great. So let's get out of the way. We're we're on a. It's kind of dangerous to be here, so we have to be careful and be aware of uh, what's going on because there's a lot of heavy equipment that's being moved around out here. So, well, uh, the, the thing is, when, when you take a core, you're only taking just one, like, pinhole picture of the, uh, the physical attributes of the sea floor. So the, this seems to be quite important in terms of getting also, at least to a certain extent, the horizontal feature that was for. Yeah, it's the horizontal is within a certain extent because right. some of the measurements just go around the borehole. But this allow that what this really allows is to look at the properties in situ, meaning that uh, the temperatures and pressures where they're they're currently exist. And we brought them up to the surface with totally different conditions, so that they change a little bit on the way up. And this also allows us to get a complete profile, which we didn't have before. And, and the ability to reorient uh, all the cores or some of the cores and get stru the structures that are oriented uh, is uh, extremely important if you're going to try to relate it to some of the regional stresses and what's going on in a more regional basis right. instead of a more localized sure. uh, uh, situation that happens a lot with uh, only having cores. Good. So. Thanks. Can I get Helen here? Helen, can, can you tell me about the uh, the data that's uh, recovered from the logging and how that's made available to the well, scientists? Well, we measure all this data, you know, we can see it coming up in real time, so we know what we've got. We then send the data back to the beach, it gets processed, depth matched, um, some corrections done to it, then it'll get sent back to the ship via satellite, and we'll put it in the database that makes it available to all the scientists on the ship. We also give them these nice long printouts of our results so that they can start looking at them right away. 
and compare it with the core data and help them better understand right. what we have from the um, so, core data. Right. So it seems that the whole logging process is ex is essential to um, to the coring in, in yeah, the whole. Yeah, I think to get a complete picture of right. you know the borehole and the surrounding mythology and the science that we can get out of it, it's really important that we log because it tells us what's missing, gives us information that we just can't get from the cores themselves sometimes. Right. Great. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.